and it's just that bee sent a pic from the bus. I got a man, but I'm fucking around Cause I'm young and I can't be tied down They got a girl, she got nothing on me But we wait hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video um i'm just going to be showing you guys how i did those purple ombre and like marble looking um louis vuitton nails so i just finished soaking off my nails um so now i am just cleaning up the free edge um and just shaping them and getting ready to put on a new set so first i'm just going in with my 200 well 240 i don't say 200 Anyway, going in with my 240 sandy band, um, I'm getting ready to push back my cuticles and then go back in with the sandy band. That way I'm able to get all of that dead cuticle off. Um, and I do want to apologize now because, y'all, this video is all over the place. Like, I don't understand how I keep getting out the frame. Like, I'm really, I'm really getting mad because editing it, I know y'all are mad. But I want to keep giving y'all content. So, slowly but surely, it's getting, it's getting right. It's getting right. Um, some days I'm more in the frame than I am on others, but yeah, um, I try to edit it as best I could. So now I'm just going in with the ceramic needle nose bit, um, and I'm just cleaning up my cuticle area and then I'm just dusting everything off. So now I'm taking out my C-curve tips and I'm just going to start by applying them um, with some glue. This is just some generic glue um, that I got from Amazon. And then I'm just gonna size those out and apply those. Alright, so now that our tips are on, um, I'm just going to go ahead and start shaping the tips. So, normally I wear my nails um, stiletto on my ring finger and my pinky. And then I do wear the um, the other three coffins. So, my first finger, um, my middle finger, and my thumb. So, I'm just clipping those down to my liking. And then I'm just going to start shaping them. And y'all, just like a quick little tip, straight nail clippers are your best friend. Like, your shape will be so much better. Like, instead of using the curved regular nail clippers, use the straight edge, y'all. Oh my gosh. It's, it's way easier to use and your lines will always be straight because it's a straight razor or it's a straight edge. So, I would definitely recommend doing that. Um, but yeah, so now I'm just going back in with my file and just shaping everything to my liking and then um, Of course at the end, I'm just gonna go back in and all of my finished filing So this is just to kind of get me started
so this is my first time trying that like cut acrylic look so i'm doing the v cut this time um for like a french v cut so i'm just getting my exacto knife out of the pack and i do have um its own knife for like doing acrylic nails so all of my like regular craft tools and stuff all go to my acrylic So now I'm just going in with the Model 1's um, nail primer. So I first went in with the dehydrator, that was the clear one. Um, then I go in with the brown bottle and that's just going to be the primer. And then I do go in with a no lift primer and so far so good. My nails don't really lift like that. Um, I have pretty good nail beds but um, E when I do her nails, she always gets lifting but she also does short nails and... I've kind of perfected long nails because I've always had long nails. So I've, I had to learn how to do my own, but I never had short nails. So, yeah, um, like I said, I think and I feel like it works well for me. Um, but for her, they definitely stay on. She doesn't get lifted, but her nails are like a month, a month and a half old now. <clears throat> so just going in with a clear base on the bottom, just a really thin layer. Um, I'm just going to do this entire nail using the My Little Pony glitter. Um, and that's something I made by myself. So I did put it, um, me making all of my colors and stuff, how I make them. Um, everything I use is in the Amazon link. But the, um, it's not a, it's a tutorial, but it's more like a, I kind of show you how to do it. Well, I guess it is a tutorial. Either way, um, I did a video on that and that is going to be probably in the cards if not um, I'll try to remember to link it down below but everything is in the nails playlist so I'm just gonna continue to apply the glitter all over my nails and um, just continue to fill that in oh I had some lint. and I am using my number 16 um, Poochie's nail brush um, I like it I feel like the Kalinsky hairs are drier if that makes sense like they feel dry like I don't know so I now I use the eye gel brush I had the number 12 which I think you guys might have seen in the previous video and then um I ordered those two I like them for size reference but I like the hairs on the eye gel better so um, I'm still testing them out and using them in this video. So overall, I like it. Um, it's very easy to work with. It's a really nice brush. I just prefer the other one. Um, and then on my thumb, I just went in with some clear. So now going in with Simone, which is kind of like this um, metallic-y purple. And I am just going to do an ombre on this nail. So I'm just going to do about two to three thirds of the way down. And then put the um, cover nude or cover blush on top of this. And then that's going to be my ombre. Oh, my bad. I'm jumping around. Okay, so now on my ring finger, I'm going in... I didn't show it. I think it's the cover nude, um, but it's the one with the glitter in it for me in secret. Um, I'm just marbling these two together. So I'll tap my brush um, one half on one color and then one half on the other color. And then I'm just gonna kind of blend that out, but you don't wanna blend it too much to where it will all blend together, but you do want it to like swirl together. And then as you can kind of like briefly see, it was kind of lumpy. So I did smooth it out a little bit, but I did leave all of the gaps and stuff because you are going to cover it in clear. That will be all of your strength. You'll be fine. Just cover it in clear. No one's going to know. So going in on my middle finger, that was going to be where the V cut is. Um, I did start with my cuticle bead because I am working top to bottom. Um, and I just cleaned everything up there. And then I am going to get the edges um, nice and perfected.
taking my exacto knife i did line it up in the middle and then go from side to side just to make sure everything was even um <clears throat> every now and then i will go in and clean it up um and i'll take my nail file and kind of sharpen it up a little bit and again this doesn't have to be my cuts have to be perfect but the shape and smoothness does not have i mean the smoothness does not have to be perfect because like i said you are going to go back in um i am going to still smooth it out but i'm not going to be as stressed as i should say um and now i'm going back in with my little pony and i think i did an ombre on this finger i think so this one was the ombre with the glitter and my first finger is the ombre with the um with the purple So now that that has dried some more, I am going back in with my nail file and just crisping up those edges. I'm um, just making sure everything is straight. Okay, so yeah, I did end up going in with the ombre on that finger. So I am just going to start blending that down and I do work on my cuticle bead because that is pretty much the last bead that goes on. Um, and I really need to work on shaping my nails as I'm working instead of trying to file everything and then make everything smooth. So I am working on that. Um, that's what I was practicing today. So it's getting better. It's getting better. I'm trying to speed up my time that way I can take more clients and... You know, I don't have everyone sitting in the chair for three or four hours. Now, if it's some, like, hand-painted stuff, yes, it will take time. But, um, you know, you always want to cut time where you can. <clears throat> so now I am just capping the glitter in the, um, the glitter in the nude. That way, when I go to file, one, it will have strength, but two, um, when I go to file, I won't file off the design. And I think I'm just capping everything at this point. Yep, I'm just capping everything. And it is just me a secret clear. Um, but the monomer is beauty secret. I don't know why the monomer is so clear for this brand. Um, but it's very um, smelly. Um, I prefer the odorless. But of course, odorless has a tacky layer. And you have to mix it with... Um, with acetone to make it dry faster um which i like but i don't know it's not all that it's good um i don't have to worry about the smell getting a headache or anything like that but it is still tacky and annoying um now i'm just using my melody Susie dust collector like i said um i did fall and soak off my nails which i recorded um so yeah the first half of this video it was all gonna be one thing but i figured It'd be too long and maybe y'all aren't here for that. So if you do want to see um, how I soak off my nails, um, I can post that one or I will film a brand new one for you guys. Um, so yeah, just let me know down below in the comments. <clears throat> So after going in with my hand file, I am going in with this um, ceramic bit and just smoothing out my nail. Um, on my thumb, I did have a big hump, so I'm just making sure to smooth everything out. That way, um, we don't have any lumpy nails because that's not cute. And I also like this bit for cleaning up my cuticle area and sealing it. Um, so I need to make sure to go buy some more because I actually really like these. And they're cheap. And they're on Amazon. So they're in my link below. Um, go ahead and find all of your nail necessities. If you guys have any questions of what I'm using, it's all in there. So I am just taking this comb bit and smoothing everything out. This is more so for bulk um, because I think it is an extra coarse um, safety bit or comb bit or whatever. 
so it is just taking down the bulk but it is um safe for the cuticle so i can still go in and smooth those out and make sure everything is nice and cohesive Hi, Lily. As you guys know, like I say in every video, Lily always makes an appearance. Sorry, guys. How are you? I'm, but I'm trying to record. Is that okay with you? Well, thank you. And please excuse my phone charger, y'all. Um, my phone was dying while I was trying to record this. So I needed to charge it so I can make sure my phone doesn't die. Um, now I'm just taking a lint-free wipe and cleaning off all the extra dust and stuff that is on my nails. Um, and I'm going back in and smoothing out my nails. So, oh, apparently I'm done buffing and filing. <laughs> So, um, I got these nail decals from Poochie's Nails. It is in my unboxing, and I will leave that linked below or in the cards. Um, hopefully if I remember. <clears throat> but I was trying to decide where I wanted the placement of this. And you'll see me, like, lift them up and take them off and lift them back up and take them off again. I couldn't really figure out what I wanted to do with these. But I figured it out. Um, I like them down at the bottom. But I was worried about the um, not seeing the work behind the decals. So that one I put lower and then I realized my first finger needed to be lower too. And y'all, don't have fats on your nails. Do your nails so they look nice. Don't just, oh, I already put it on there. No, that looks scattered and tacky. Do your nails for real. So yeah, um, I took the decal off and... Um, I just took it off again and reapplied it and then I am going in with I think three more if I didn't do my thumb already um oh nope so I ended up putting it on my thumb and then um I did my ring finger and my pinky and I think the sheet was like three dollars I think or four dollars either way it was a good deal when I bought like three of them so make sure um if you're gonna invest in your stuff that you have enough product because in case if i used more of these or um after a few clients you won't have any more and then you have to order them and wait for them to come in and what if they don't have any stock I, I don't have time for that so i just ordered a bunch of them um to make sure that i had enough So now I'm just going in with my top coat. Um, this is from Beatles, I think. The Beatles gel polish. Um, but I'm just sealing everything together. And they look so freaking cute. Like, they're all like sparkly and glittery. Um, and with the decals, I noticed because it, at the end of the day, it is a sticker. Um, there was like a little bit of a ridge. So I would probably do two coats so you don't feel anything. Um, but it was nothing like too noticeable or anything like that. And you didn't really feel it. Um, you could like kind of barely feel it on the tips, but no one's going to know. And that's pretty much it. Um, I did go in with some cuticle oil. Oh, that is, um, with my rose cupcake cuticle oil. So I did just rub all of that in. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to show you guys some final shots and I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment down below for anything you would like to see. Um, follow all of my social medias and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye